Contemporary Mexican architecture in Punta de Mita fit like a hand in a glove. The private coastal scenery and intimacy with the open spaces of golf courses are sought after locations for new design projects. The architectural standards already set can be seen on bluffs, on beaches and in the soft folds of fairways throughout the development on the peninsula. These villas were created in an atmosphere of friendly competition by some of the who's who of modern Mexican architects. Diego Villasenor, Juan Munguia, Fernando de Aro and Abax, Manolo Mestre, Jaime Barber of BR, Willy Michel and Lopez Bazi Calleja have all helped establish Punta Mita as a playground worthy of big design projects. But perhaps the most original designs have come from the drawing board of Jose de Iturbe. Pepe, as he is known to his acquaintances, was a student of Luis Barragan, an associate of Sordo Madaleno, and as a builder of skyscrapers, horse stables, homes, and hotels. He stamps each project with an iconic sensibility distilled from 44 years of interpretation, vision, and experience. He made his debut in Punta de Mita with Casa Las Palmas 1 and 2. Above the beach at Ranchos, these twin homes with their vast courtyards decorated only with a grid and a grove of royal palms stamped him as a master of the relationship between open and closed spaces. As a business card, it also got him more work. Renzo Piano, one of the biggest names in big architecture in the world, asserts that people react less to architecture itself than they do to the space it creates. Well, in Mexico, the outside on the inside feature so popular with Spanish colonial styles, but which was really had its roots in Islamic architecture, is a feature constantly being reinvented by Pepe in a thoroughly modern context. In fact, his next residential project to manifest this introversion, this emphasis of the internal over the external, was in Lagos del Mar. The lot was small, of a regular shape, and with little relief. The plan had to involve strict environmental CCNRs, garden, four bedrooms and baths, day and evening lounge areas, pool, bar, kitchen, and staff quarters. The architect's challenge, is, as always, is to combine needs with design and to place it all comfortably in its location. But it is the enigmatic entrance that is the key to Casa Mandarina. The concealed entrance is only a suggestion in the almost blank facade. It eschews attention but affords protection, privacy and something to ponder. It is a tease because the real treasure, the element of surprise, the real wow, lies within. Just ring the gong. The solid marble door swings effortlessly op open on its pivot point. A short shady passage and one is greeted again by the open sky and an island of greenery in a sea of bleached so stone. The threshold is both entry and escape to this spacious courtyard. From the very portal the gaze is drawn unimpaired along the long line of the lap pool, through the courtyard, the living area, out across the ninth fairway and on to the expanse of the Banderas Bayarama beyond. The L-shaped pool wraps the lounges and dining table in a cool embrace. Cozy common areas shaded under the vaulted palapa ameliorate the exposed, brighter interior spaces. The oversized sofas in the sala are definitely for lounging in. A concrete celosia, another one of Pepe's favorite design components, separates the pool from the passageway, public from private. Airflow on mini vistas serving double duty in a structural element. The master bedroom opens straight into the pool via sliding doors that disappear into a wall pocket. The bar area has indoor and outdoor versions according to the formality of the occasion. The kitchen is concealed behind a secret panel which is both door and wine shelf combined. A discreet slit in the otherwise featureless east wall of the quadrangle leads to the three guest rooms each open to private wooden decks contained by a profusion of palms, private oases and lush retreats from the brighter, longer lines of the patio from whence you enter, yet another dimension, attached but quite distinct. The great thing about big walls is that you can decorate them with big art. 
the namesake metallic sculpture, powder coated in juicy mandarin orange, is a backdrop not just to the lounge and dining area it embraces, but it is a focal point to the whole interior of the house. It is a bold and welcome and ornate allowance often ignored in the minim minimalist formula. And like Lebowski's rug, it kind of ties the whole place together. The alternating land and sea breezes breathe daily life into the house, which, thanks to the privacy factor, is open to the great outdoors but closed to the public. So with eating, sleeping and relaxing all taken care of, the only issue left off the floor plan was where to park the car. Hmm. Pepe, used to inner city space-saving design solutions, knew well to go underground and out of sight. An obvious but hitherto unprecedented domestic solution on the peninsula. Punta Mita is a showcase of architectural styles. It's a canvas for imaginative architects and adventurous owners. Casa Mandarina hangs proudly in that gallery as a lasting testament to the process of collaboration between residents, architects and engineers. Pepe de Turbe helped define the cross-cultural exchange that personifies the Punta Mita ethos and the universality of the Mexican lifestyle it affords. Boom.